Hello, my friends. The vision of the fiery serpent cut off because the old enemy <laughs> is attacking my videos. And I'm rejoicing. I sure am. I'm rejoicing and praising God. I am. What I left off was to say that it took one angel of God to place the fiery serpent, the devil, in the bottomless pit. The Holy Spirit said one angel will put the devil in his own darkness, in chains of darkness, in his own evil. Do you hear me, church? What evil the devil has created upon this earth for us. He's going to have to endure that evil for a thousand years. He will be placed in his own suffering, every weapon, everything that he has plotted and planned against us with the forces of darkness, with the forces of evil, with principalities, the rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness in high places, he will have to deal with it in that place of the bottomless pit. That darkness will be used against him. And he will have to suffer it for 1,000 years. We've been suffering it upon this earth all the days of our life, church. The enemy has moved against us, attacked us, mind, body, spirit. Now it is his time. Now he will have to reap what he has sowed. That's right, church. That's what the Holy Spirit was showing me about that darkness, about that bottomless pit. He will be placed in the pit of darkness with chains of darkness wrapped around him and that darkness will consume him and he'll be tormented for 1,000 years. That's right. What you sow, you shall reap. That goes even for the devil himself. He is not going to escape his judgment. God bless you, my dear, dear, precious friends. I thank God for each and every one of you. Yeah, I'm over here rejoicing. I'm celebrating because that enemy is moving against me. Glory, hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. That's right. He's trying to click off my videos. But victory is mine in Jesus Christ's most holy name. That's right, church, because you know what? I don't have to fight demons. I don't have to fight devils. I don't have to do anything but just stand because 2,000 years ago, my Lord and my Savior Jesus Christ made an open show. He spoiled principalities and powers and the rulers of darkness. And when he went into hell, they bowed before the master. Glory, hallelujah. Yes, they did, church. The Holy Spirit of God showed me that in a vision. When Jesus walked into hell with all power and all glory, they bowed before him because they even know he is their master. That's right. Even when Jesus was being tempted of the devil and the devil offered him the kingdoms of the world, and uh, the devil told Jesus, if you'll bow down and worship me, I'll give you all this. Jesus said, the Lord thy God, in him only shall thy worship Jesus is letting that old devil know, you know who your God is. You know who created you. That's right, church. Even the devils know who Jesus Christ is. Amen, church. Even the demons that were in the man, the legion of demons, when they saw Jesus, they said, what do we have to do with you, the son of the most high God? That's right. That's right, church. They bow before.